Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. Way back in the 4th century BC, the philosopher Aristotle ranked our five senses and sight was the most important for our survival. I would agree. While we've learned a lot since then, sight is still incredibly important, and it's a sense that can fade with age. One of the natural results of that aging is something called cataracts. Yeah, there are some modern techniques and studies to help us deal with cataracts, and here to share more from Chu Vision Institute, we welcome back Dr. Ralph Chu from Chicago originally. <laughs> yes, TJ. White Castle fan. That's why he's got the White oh, Castle here. thank you. Listen, we had White Castle on at the beginning of the show. <laughs> yes, sir. Dr. True Chu crushed. Crushed, crushed his first White Castle. How is that sitting? Now he's got his second you one down. get some water there? I'll let okay. you know in 10 minutes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good gracious. All right. Well, let you get a drink and swallow that down. But all right. all right, we're focusing on cataracts. So a new study found a link between dementia and vision loss, specifically cataracts, right? This is amazing. So published in JAMA in December of last year, they found that doing cataract surgery can reduce your risk of developing dementia by 30 percent. Why is that? So what they thought was that, um, you know, we're getting more information from our eyes to our brain about mm -hmm. our environment. And, you know, there's old studies showing that patients with macular degeneration who get that, their, their, their cortex, their visual cortex atrophies. So if we don't interact with our environment as much, mm -hmm. if we're not getting as much information, our mental cognitive status declines. I hear that with hearing loss too. That can affect how de you develop dementia because you do isolate yourself. So if your vision is bad, if your hearing is bad, you're not wanting to go out and socialize. That's it. That's exactly it. And when we're doing surgery, it's 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 amazing to watch patients reconnect with their communities mm -hmm. once they can actually regain that freedom and independence from improved vision. But you know, up to 25% of, of, of the elderly can lose one of their senses, sight or hearing, as they age. Mm -hmm. Now, are these preventable? Are cataracts something you can prevent? That is a great question, and cataracts is, the, is, is definitely preventable. You know, it's the number one leading cause of preventable blindness in the world. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. I did yep. not know that. Okay, yep. so my parents both have had their cataracts uh, removed sure. yep. and surgically removed. But how do you know, I remember asking my dad, like how do you know if you have cataracts? He described it as like looking through a screen. Yeah. It's like a film, right? Yep, there's no pain when you get cataracts. They happen as you age naturally. And so patients describe um, usually trouble in dimmer lighting conditions at first, so night driving. Uh, they describe trouble with um, glare from headlights. And then they start noticing trouble just seeing, usually at distance first. Mm -hmm. That's, um, so visual blur is the number one symptom for patients to come in. Okay, so treating yeah. them, you can do many things with the eye. Treating cataracts is one of them. Yeah, cataract surgery has come a long way in technology. You know, in the old days, um, patients, uh, you know, had to wear patches and be immobilized. And nowadays, the, the surgery is very, very straightforward. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes to accomplish the surgery. Um, and there's all these technologies now where we not only fix the medical condition, but we're able to reduce patients' dependence on their glasses, not just for distance, but also intermediate, like the computer screen and reading vision. Yeah. Now, how's that White Castle sitting? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I think I need a little break here. I'm a little stressed out. You need out. a quick break. Yeah, you're a little stressed out. You've been giving us some good mm. information. Mm. Now, while you're eating that, yeah, what about, you know, what, how does age play into cataracts? Is it something that younger people or middle yeah, agers? When, when do you start to when, notice that? Yeah, most patients with cataracts start noticing it when they're in their 60s. So okay. about two-thirds of patients who reach 65 have cataract symptoms and are looking at improving their vision with surgery. There are younger patients, younger conditions, but that's rare. So the majority of patients are in there in the, uh, above 60 years of age. I remember okay. when my dad had his cataracts, cataracts removed. It was such a big deal for him because when you think surgery, you think this is going to be an all-day, a couple-day process. He was in and out so fast, and then he didn't have to wear his glasses again. Yep. And and that's, that was huge. It's huge. One of the most exciting technologies that we just started uh, with is called Light Adjustable Lens. It's a lens implant that patients can get placed in their eye at the time of surgery, once the implant is settled, without any more cutting or tissue removal, we can simply use a light to adjust the lens implant to their prescription to give them the vision that they want for distance and for reading. Now, what kind of recovery time for something like that, mm -hmm. you know, how long does it take to adjust to you know, normal life after that procedure? The recovery is really just a couple of days. So there's no pain after the surgery. When a patient leaves our surgery center, they don't have a patch on their eye they can use their eye right away the next day. So what do you hear from people who the screen is removed <laughs> when they can see, you know, what are you hearing from people? What kind of stories? It's amazing. So just uh, just this morning, I had a 78-year-old man who had a, 
a very, very thick prescription, and now he's able to drive without his glasses for the first time in his life. Wow. First time in his life? First time in his life. What does he say about that? <laughs> he, Did I he get, cry in your office? I, yep, I had a patient cry this morning, and uh, a lot of hugs. It really makes our day. It, it never gets old to see people see better and connect with their world around them in a better way. I mean, this is amazing. just so amazing. When I, I remember when I had my LASIK, I did tear that evening when I could see the clock across the kitchen, and I would imagine the same kind of feeling when you don't know how, how bad your vision is until it's better. Yeah, patients say, you know, I haven't seen this well since I was like a child, when I was three or seven, when I first got my first pair of contacts or glasses. It's pretty remarkable. It's something you probably slowly move in, you know, maybe your eyesight slowly gets worse. You don't really or realize it. You right. just get used to it. And then to, to go from you know, the before to the after, that's got to be quite the transformation. To be able to people. read a White Castle box <laughs> is unbelievable. Well, maybe it, don't eat it. to help people yeah, understand <laughs> what's in the box and, you know, am the I going to take a bite? List? We'll find out. I have to ask, though, once you do the surgery, and let's say like my dad and my mom, they yeah. don't have to wear glasses anymore, but they yeah. are wearing readers from, from time to time. That's still something to think about. You might have to wear readers, which isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, there are some patients that, you know, many patients that do have to wear readers, but there's new things coming coming out all the time. So there's these new drops that have been approved for reading glasses, and we did a story on it a I while know, well, ago. Yeah, amazing. those are really amazing. And they are looking at that for patients who've had cataract surgery. So we're actually just starting a clinical trial in the next month for patients who've had cataract surgery and for patients who haven't on a new drop that can be used to help them get rid of their reading glasses. Dr. Chu wow. is at the forefront of everything eye health and that is really is interesting. Amazing. An eye drop. Yeah. Right. Can you pass that slider, sir? No, you, you know, cannot. I'm uh, not going to yeah. allow thank that. Thank you. Do not <laughs> eat that. Dr. Chu, thank it's you right so much. Thanks for coming, Dr. Chu. If you are dealing you. with cataracts or any other vision issue or just need a checkup, the team at Chu Vision Institute can help. Call them at 952-243-2556 to schedule your appointment at their Bloomington office today.